Hey family, welcome to How Love Works, where we talk about the principles for lasting love. Uh, thank you guys for taking some time with me this afternoon. Um, I've been missing in action, so I thought I'd come to you right now to give you a little bit of uh, feedback on where I've been in the last uh, week or so, uh, because I know I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to continue to put out as much content as I could especially uh, when it came to the question that Miss Harris asked of me. Uh, I've been in the hospital, guys, for about six days. I suffered from a lung condition that kept me hospitalized for that period of time. But I'm back now. Uh, right now, I'm still dealing with the pain, and so I'm still suffering from uh, a lot of the limitations that I received while I was in the hospital during that period of time. I had some surgery. And so uh, I just thank those people who are familiar with my ordeal. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for your support. Now, uh, today I am going to be talking about uh, the modern approach to love and how the modern approach to love doesn't appear to be working very well for the modern man and the modern woman. Uh, matter of fact, it has um, a pattern that is clearly seen. You see it often. And I'm going to just talk about these 10 areas, not in any great length. I can't stand long <laughs> because of the right side. I'm, I can't spend a lot of time talking about this issue, but I think it will be enough uh, for you guys to glean um, where you may be in your current relationship. So, the modern approach to love and relationships basically have these 10 um, activities that you see. The first one is the area of contact. Um, the, most people, they get together, they make their initial contact, and of course, it's, it's, it's more or less a um, uh, a Peter Pan meeting Tinkerbell moment more than anything and it's just a whole lot of feelings going up in the air and everybody's all passionate and it's just so much uh, uh, it, it's like the Cinderella phase that's the contact phase and then after the contact then the, the chemistry starts to flow and that's when you start getting everybody wanting to get physically intimate with one another and that's the the new that's the second area of this this particular pattern it's almost a a race to the bottom more than anything and then after that the the predictable outcome comes as a result of the chemistry and the and the uh engage the engaging uh element of the chemistry it's like turned on full throttle and now copulation takes place. You're going to find that all ten of these start with the letter C. So copulation takes place. That's sex. Okay, so no one knows anyone. No one really trusts anyone. No one can rely on anyone. No one can, there's no commitment at all. And But everyone is, is touching all over one another as though there's some commitment or some contract uh, and some covenant that's been um, created nothing right copulation then number four the confusion immediately after the copulation the confusion because you're back on the contact and the chemistry and you think that means something <laughs> you think you've done something because wait a minute we've we've copulated and and now why am i feeling so confused well for most women the confusion is you know, you're not getting the, you're not feeling cherished like you thought you would feel when you copulated after the cop. No, no, it's going to get worse. Just listen. Number five, and then the conformity begins. The conformity is just the behavior that most women fall back into when they do the first four they or the first three. After the calculation, then the confusion, and then the conformity is the length, is is the behavior that you are accustomed. The pattern of, of behaving is the way you accustomly, um, not accustomly, 
the, 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 the language of the relationship goes back to its original pattern, which is, you know, now you're going to just start doing what you typically do when you, after the copulation. It's just you started conforming, okay? Number six, then the compromise. You start compromising all the things you said you wasn't going to do. You're already compromising. You, you, you're back in the saddle again. You're doing the same old, same old, getting the same results. You said you would never do it. You start compromising here. You start compromising there. You start compromising in your family relationships. You compromise your children. You compromise your relationships to your friends. You compromise the things with your finances and all. I mean, you just you compromise allowing the individual too much access into your life, to your body, to your heart, to your resources. You compromised it all, right? Number seven, then you got to put in the controls. Now you're going to start controlling everything. You want to start controlling. So the first thing you want to do, you're going to start criticizing. Because you got to change this situation, and that's how women think they can change things, because that's how women get changed, through criticism. So you're going to start criticizing a man. It's not going to work. Then you're going to start comparing him. That's not going to work. Then you're going to start complaining. That's not going to work. Then, you know, all of these, all of the things that you think should work in trying to manipulate a situation that has gone off the rails, it gets worse. Because after that, after the control phase, and that's number seven, then number eight, the whole thing, based on the weight, collapses. The whole relationship collapses. It might take six months, it might take six years. It, it, it often collapses at the beginning, but you just don't know it because you're operating by these, these ten patterns, okay? And then after the collapse, and, and once that is your pattern over time, contact, chemistry, comp, uh, copulation, confusion, conformity, compromise, control, collapse, over again. Contact, chemistry, copulation, confusion, conformity, com compromise, control, then collapse. Then what happens? Number nine, contempt. You have contempt for all men. You have contempt for uh, love relationships. You, 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 you're distant, you're hard, you're cold. You don't believe they, they, they can be sustained. But you're not taking, you're not really taking any responsibility for what you are bringing and what you are doing. Love is not something that you play with. Love and sex is very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing. And too many women are playing with love and playing with sex. It's too dangerous, and most of you are losing. All right? And as I said, number 10, then consideration. Start back at one. Contact, chemistry, copulation, confusion, conformity, compromise, control, collapse, contempt, consideration you start doing it and and you ladies have heard this old saying and the old saying goes like this if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over again expecting a different result but you're doing the same thing you're getting the same result like you should be getting it's like a a, a, a mathematical formula two plus two is always four it doesn't matter what the two things are right then that formula suggests that if you continue to do the same thing expecting a different result, that borders on insanity. I just says that it's relational PTSD. And it causes a lot of emotional uh, pain, consternation, and injury to the individual, especially the female. Because actually what it shows is your ignorance. You don't know how to have the love relationship that you need. You don't know how to get what you need. And so I just wanted to lay that pattern out for you ladies. I wanted you to see that Miss Harris, that pattern, because that's a constant pattern. 
it doesn't seem to change much. And, uh, and the next time we talk, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how to overcome this pattern and what you can do to get what you need in order to have the love relationship you deserve. That's my time. I thank you for yours. I catch you on the other side. God bless you.